Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in as always. Today I am down around my local ballast grounds. So I just turned the drone on and uh, transmitter's on. Just waiting for it to load up. We will start the app. There we go. Enter device. Okay. It didn't give me the. There we go. There's the main screen. Okay, so what I want to do here first, guys, you know, I like to do a screen recording in case anything happens. So I'm going to get rid of one of those videos I have already saved on my phone because I don't have a lot of room, a lot of memory on this phone. And now we'll do a screen recording. Just in case something happens, guys. Okay, so now you can see what's on the screen there. Um, added strong wind warning. We already know we have the 48 megapixel shooting. Night mode, exposure metering. Improves daylight dynamic range and quality. Transmitter improves connection between the phone and the app and added power saving mode for the transmitter. So if I scroll down, it's connected. You can see the firmware versions there. The flight controller is 0 0.66. Uh, gimbal is 1.0.4.5 and Hubson IT is 2.2.9. Uh, everything's reading normal. The optical flow state reads low quality, but I'd imagine that's because the drone is sitting on the ground and uh, it's covering that sensor. So we'll close that out. We'll go into, actually I wanna go into my camera options here. And I want to format the memory card. There we go. Format succeeded. I don't see the aircraft disconnected. What's going on there? I haven't had this happen, guys, and uh, since I first purchased this drone. Okay, so I'm okay. There we go. Just got it back, ready to fly GPS. So this is why I do a screen recording, just in case something like that happens while I'm in the air and that drone does not come back. Okay, so we will take off here. Now that we're up in the air, I'll put the video on. And go in the options to it, camera. I'm gonna turn the bit rate right up to 200. And something I seen on this was, okay, it's not in there. Resolution 4K30, that's on. And that's it, I, I don't see an option like Marcus Crawford had being you can set it to sunny day or whatever, but it's not a sunny day here anyway. Okay, so start recording. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the uh, firmware version of the drone. It's 1.3.7. Let's see if we get any jello, guys. I'm going to go full stick forward. Uh, something else I've done was change the PID tuning. And uh, Hubson sent me... They sent me the numbers to put into the PID tuning. So you can see I'm coming back towards me. I've got full stick forward at... Geez, I can't even see how fast I was going. Eight meters per second. Let's see, I'll bring it down there. Actually climb, there's a couple of seagulls. Okay, so I'm gonna go full stick out. And 11.6 mile per hour, 17. 
17 mile an hour and I'm not seeing any jello. So hopefully that corrected the issue. And I'll put up on the screen, guys, uh, I'll try and take a screenshot of it, of the PID tuning. So you guys that are experiencing any jello in this drone, you can put those PID tunings in. Adjust your gimbal gain. That's that's where you put those in at. You go to your uh, gimbal settings, advanced, and uh, change the gimbal gain. It'll it'll say PID, and there's three of them. So I guess it's for each axis of the gimbal. So you just uh, put a certain number in there. The number that I, uh, you'll see it anyway. You'll see when I uh, put the picture in. So if I, if I remember to do it, I'll add it and uh, you guys will see what the setting is. So I'm flying over by our local fish plant there now. It's decently warm out today, guys. It's at least two or three de degrees. I've got strong signal here, no disconnection. I can see that horizon tilting a little, but that's me moving the drone over. Fly back towards me. I'm getting 17 mile an hour, almost 18. 18. 18.2.3 Now what do I have this in? Uh, let's see Now it's in sport mode. It was in normal mode, so we'll check sport mode Fly her out in sport mode and see if we get any jello guys now, I'm not seeing any Good stuff Hubson good stuff I don't notice any jello. That's uh, also a win for anybody that's been eyeballing this drone and watching these reviews from myself and everyone else. To let you know that uh, I'm not seeing any jello, guys. So they must have fixed it with the uh, the PID tuning they gave me. And if you guys seen Marcus Crawford's video, uh, I just watched it today. Today is the 30th of December. It was just up, just put on uh, YouTube this morning and I think he's running the same firmware 1.3.7. But he mentioned PID tuning from a guy in somewhere in Europe, I believe. But his PID tunings were set a little different and I tried those settings and it didn't work for me. I still had a little amount of jello in the camera. But these settings that Hubson gave me, they were working great. Let's gain some altitude, get up away from those birds. The car there just turned around. Camera down. Yeah, it looks good, guys. I'm, I'm not noticing any jello on my phone here. And I'm now doing 27 mile an hour, 29, 31. It's spinning around. Oh, <laughs> that movement there, guys, was me turning quickly. That's not yellow on the camera. 27 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34.4 mile an hour and not a bit of jello. So that's good news. Now filming for five minutes, just about six minutes, and I have 81% battery left. We are going to go back to film mode. 
I just got a text from Laura telling me she's on the bus, so I, I have to go pick her up here pretty soon. So this video is not going to be much longer, guys. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just flying along the shoreline here. Just cruising along the shoreline, guys. I love the camera and this drone. This little drone has a great camera on it. Let's lower down a bit here. Okay, and we'll spin around. Gain some altitude just in case that uh, that sensor picks up the water and tries to land like uh, DJI drones do. Okay, now I'm going to decrease a bit as I'm coming in. You guys can see me standing ahead there. I'm up roughly about 14 feet off the ground. Seven meters. Uh, maybe more. Maybe it was about 15 or 20. I'm, I'm a terrible judge at height and distance. Okay. So we know it works good, guys. We know it works very good. Like I say, no jello. Absolutely no jello. We'll do a little droney. Reversing up very slowly. I've got full stick, but it's in film mode, like I said. Yeah, no connection issues. Uh, just when I started it up there, and I, I don't know why it done that. Like I say, I've never had that happen until I first purchased this drone. And when I started giving a firmware updates, it hasn't happened until now. I don't know if it was just the drone trying to uh, initially connect or what. But that's certainly something you don't want is disconnections when you're flying out over water or anything. Okay guys, so my hands are starting to get a little chilly here now and uh, they say uh, I've got to pick Laura up here in a few minutes. You guys can see that drone hover in there. Nice and steady too, guys. Uh, I don't think it was that good when I first got it. But that's pretty stable. You guys seeing that? Yeah, you can see that. That is really, really stable, guys. I'll bring it in a little closer. I don't have the obstacle avoidance on either. Uh, I haven't calibrated that in well over a month. There you go. I'll get behind the camera and try and give you guys a little close-up. Bring her in, bring her down a little. There you go. You see how, how steady that drone is? That's really, really decent. Now, there's no wind here today. So that little bit of movement is probably prop wash. I don't feel the slightest bit of breeze here. Okay. So let's get this thing down here. We are now 10 minutes into the video. I still have 67% battery. Okay, peeps. I'm gonna do a little hand catch. And there it stopped recording on its own. So what do you think guys? The uh, firmwares just keep getting better and better with this drone. Uh, I won't actually know until I get home to see if there is any jello, but like I said, I couldn't see anything on my phone screen. 
I couldn't pick any jello out at all and it looked really decent so hopefully that's what it is hopefully the pid tunings that I put in got rid of that jello altogether now if I can get my Femi working like that we would uh, we'll be golden I'm uh, still in talks with Femi right now to try and get another replacement and uh, it's not going very well right now I can tell you that much it's like uh, it's like they're not seeing the issues I'm having it's not showing up on the uh, the flight log one second guys but uh, I have definitive video proof of what the drone is doing so I'm not sure what's gonna happen there but anyway I hope you enjoyed this little flight today and if you're new to our channel you still have time to get in on that uh, 4DRC F4 drone giveaway which will be happening tomorrow evening actually you won't have time because by the time this video comes out that giveaway will be over with but there's always another one guys we will have the next one at the 2000 subscriber mark I will pick a half decent GPS budget drone out order it up and uh, one of you guys will get it so like I said if you're new please subscribe leave a like leave a comment make sure your notifications are on all that good stuff and till the next one catch you later guys peace Bye.